You ever wonder how silo aeration pads work? Well, look no further. In this video, we'll give you all the information you need, so stick around. Hi, my name's Sam Badger, and I'm here to ask the question, what are ply mesh laminated silo aeration pads? Why do I need them? And how do they even work? Well, as an industry leading woven wire mesh supplier with over 150 years of experience, WS Tyler takes pride in offering its customers wire mesh products needed to provide optimal results. So in this video, we're gonna be going over the following. What a ply mesh laminated silo aeration pad is, why you should use ply mesh in your silos, how laminated silo aeration pads work, and how much they cost. So ply mesh is best defined as laminated woven wire cloth panels consisting of a variety of woven wire layers which are bonded using specialized bonding techniques. This bonding process results in a smooth, porous medium that's ideal for the fluidization and aeration of particles and silos. With that, ply mesh is typically constructed out of stainless steel 304 and has a porosity of 20 to 40% depending on the specification of the aeration pad. The individual layers are constructed with either square mesh, mini mesh, or a combination of the two, providing maximum customization. Ply mesh aeration pads have a standard configuration of either 6-ply 12 or 3-ply 40. The support layer is typically a stainless steel screen with a smooth surface to evenly distribute the air across the entire screen. Pulverized goods stored in silos have to be easily extracted for further processes. Often, however, the powdered material tends to densify when stored and becomes solid. Therefore, it's no longer possible to rely on gravity alone for its extraction. Ply maceration pads are a proven method of distributing air through your powdered material to increase fluidity. That being said, there's typically 4 to 12 aeration pads in a single silo. Through the use of aeration pads, problems like funneling, rattling, and bridging formations can be avoided with ease. That said, ply mesh aeration pads and candles can easily be installed, even in silos already in operation. You just need to clear the silo before you install them. When installed, aeration pads are placed internally in the cone of the silo. Once installed, air is continuously or intermittently blown through the ply mesh and into the substrate. The amount of air fed into the silo is dictated by the material in the silo and the number of aeration pads that have been installed. With that being said, an air specification of 40 to 60 meters cubed of air per hour at a pressure of 500 mbar is recommended. The cost of ply mesh aeration pads is dependent on several factors. Things such as mesh specification, the amount of fabrication needed, and the quantity and size of the aeration pads all contribute to the overall cost. That said, six ply aeration pads have an average cost of 110 to 160 dollars whereas three-ply aeration pads cost between $130 and $140 on average. That includes the ply mesh screen and the assembly needed to attach the aeration pads to your system. While ply mesh aeration pads have a standard size of 500 by 1,000 millimeters, you can customize them to fit your exact needs. Of course, having customized aeration pads will impact the overall cost. When it comes to the longevity of a ply mesh aeration pad, it is constructed out of 304 stainless steel, which does help with abrasion resistance. As aeration pads are stored directly inside the silo though, if you're storing more corrosive materials such as salt, the aeration pads will need to be more frequently changed. However, if you're storing fine materials such as flour, they'll typically have a longer life cycle. Regardless of what material you're working with, you wanna make sure you keep your material dry. If your material gets moist, it can clog and agglomerate the pores of the aeration pad, which will cause for a less even distribution of air. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or would like to request a quote, fill out a contact us form and we'll send you a quick questionnaire to get the ball rolling and understand your processes a little bit better. Just click the link in the description and if you'd like to learn more about woven wire mesh or our many products, we have a learning center filled with written and video content to help make you an expert. Just click the second link and you'll be an expert in no time. And don't forget to click the subscription button and ring that bell to keep up to date with all things WS Tyler. Once again, I'm Sam Badger. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.